night YouTube, Earthlings, how you doing again? There was a very good documentary on last night on the BBC prime time at 9 o'clock on Monday yesterday called Meat, A Threat to Our Planet. Well, I mean, it's good beginning if I change the subject, the, uh, the title of that, and a threat to the planet, because I don't think it's our planet. It doesn't belong to human beings. But it was um, hosted by Liz Bonin. She's... Um, she calls herself a, uh, a herbivore, but um, she's just someone that cuts out red meat from her life. But it was very good, it was very basically saying about what I've been talking about for the last 30 years of my life, being a vegetarian for 21 years of it and vegan for 9 of it. Um, I haven't eaten animals for all that time. But yeah, it's going on about... Um, there we go, picking my ears again. It's just going on about, you know, the reasons why I'm, I'm vegan. And about how animal agriculture is destroying the planet. And, you know, when it comes to, you know, from, uh, from a few vegans making a few videos to mainstream videos going out there on, on um, you know, being released on YouTube and you know, like Cowspiracy and What the Health, and then big documentaries like um, um, the, the Game Changers, which has just recently come out with major major sports stars and, and star, you know, like Arnold Schwarzenegger and, uh, and um, other people like that talking about veganism. Um, but when it comes to a mainstream BBC documentary shown at 9 o'clock, prime time slot, um, you know, you, you, people sort of uh, realise that what these nutty vegans have been saying for ages is actually true. Um, I've got a list of uh, things here I want to make. Them. First of all, like, the one that I want to um, isn't actually here. I do have it on my. But um, I think I, I can't remember it. I think um, ten thousand years ago, um, human beings made up one percent of the biomass on the Earth, and um, wild animals made up ninety-nine percent. Now um, humans and their the animals they keep make up ninety-eight percent and wildlife only makes up 2%. Just just that uh, alone makes you realise that you know, something is going terribly wrong. Um, you know, the human population started growing massively in the Industrial Revolution, but during my lifetime, during the 60s, the, the, the rate of meat eating and the transportation and, and that has gone up significantly. I mean, the, you have a sort of graph for the human human population it sort of goes up gradually then the industrial revolution happens and you get the hockey stick going up like that and um, meat consumption sort of goes up gradually and then 60s it sort of starts going up like that meat consumption um, I want to go through a few, a few of these points I have on my um, 70% of US grain is used for animals it takes six pounds of grain to produce one pound of meat. And you get the same amount of protein from a peanut butter sandwich as you do from a beef burger. Which is crazy. Um, 4.7 pounds of grain produces one pound of turkey. It's just crazy. And um, But just half a pound of grain produces one pound of tofurkey, which is the vegan version of turkey. Nine times more protein from plants per acre than animals. So there's nine times more protein from an acre of plants than you get from an acre of usage from animals. 2007 2008, 756 million tonnes of grain was used for animal feed, and only 100 million tonnes were used for biofuel. Only one third to 10% of food weight to factory 
farmed animals gets turned back into food. And this was, no, I wrote all this down sort of probably 10 years ago now. But 49,657 cows die in Texas every 90 minutes. Um, 10 billion or a million million per year or 300 a second. 2,000 animals or 2,000 animals a lifetime. So 2,000 animals have to die for your lifetime's usage. Each person in the US eats an average of 1,220 kilograms of meat per year or 1,060 quarter pounders or 2,000 burgers eaten every 90 minutes sorry, 2 million burgers eaten, eaten every 90 minutes One char grilled burger uses the same resources as a diesel truck travelling for 147 miles also 2,100 gallons of water and 55 square feet of rainforest for every charred grill, grilled burger 46 to 65 million turkeys die every Christmas and you wonder why I don't like Christmas Americans eat 1 million chickens each hour so I mean it's not just America I mean this country, the UK has taken up the the, UK, the US diet and you can see it in the waistlines but it's not very good, not very healthy for you eating meat it causes heart disease, cancer, stroke diabetes, high blood pressure obesity and vegans live on average 15 years longer than meat eaters 80% of the antibiotics in the US are given to animals and that, include, that includes the UK as well it only takes two weeks for the drugs to start having a, a, a dramatically smaller effect so that's why antibiotics aren't curing people anymore because you eat meat which contains the antibiotics and you don't get cured by antibiotics anymore you're going to run out of antibiotics for an, and human beings are going to start dying. You know, it's just crazy. Hormones adding to added to cows are causing early maturity in girls and hormonal changes in boys. Um, the fact that people like the taste of animals somehow justifies the mistreatment and differences in law. Beef should be taxed just as cigarettes and taxed because they are bad for you. Eating red meat and processed meat causes colorectal bowel cancer. Um, eating animal products has killed more people over the last century than all road accidents, all wars and all the natural disasters put together. Being a vegetarian for one day is much better for the environment than buying locally. But don't be vegetarian. That's be, I call that vegetarian. Just go vegan. It's, 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 there's no... You don't hear about being vegetarian these days in adverts. I think in every single set of adverts you get at least one advert saying about vegan things. So that's meat eating. Dairy. Only 30% of the world's humans drink milk. We, you know, we're not made to drink milk. We're not, we, don't, we weren't supposed to have our mouths attached to a cow's udder. You know, why not drink cat's milk or horse's milk or something? You know, why, why drink cow's milk? It's just so unnatural. There are 75, 750 million pus cells in one litre of milk. That's the that's the what is allowed by the, the milk industry. Milk is for a cow's baby, not for you. you know, it's nutrient enriched food. It's made for a calf to grow, not for humans to drink and having their coffee and tea and whatever. Water, 8,500 8, gallons of water is used per pound of beef. I think I've already gone through that. A vegan saves 600 gallons of water per day. 600 gallons of water just for me being vegan for how many is that over nine years? A vegan uses 10,000 gallons of water per year. A meat eater uses 320,000 gallons of water. Meat eaters will be the cause of tens of millions, possibly billions of climate refugees in the future as rainfall patterns shift. Well, that's already happening now. You know, happening within my lifetime of being a vegan, these things are sort of coming to fruition. All the flooding and wildfires in California and Australia and uh, 
the, the rising in the lake, the rising of the oceans. I mean, over that video that I've done recently of the Thames rising above and any level that I've ever seen before. This is greenhouse gases. Meat eating is supporting the production of one of the main causes of climate change, the extremely potent greenhouse gas, and will harm others, including future generations of your family if you have one. So, my nephews and you know, my sister's sons are being affected by the ruminant animals we keep for animal agriculture, what we choose to eat, and we think is healthy and we think they're getting our protein. Protein comes from the, the plants that they eat. You know, the grass they eat goes into their bodies, becomes less effective protein, then we decide to eat that. It just doesn't make any sense. Methane, methane production from ruminant animals, two thirds of it is belches and one third of it is farts, helps climate change. Um, ruminants produce more greenhouse gases than all the world's transportation put together. And that was said in that documentary last night, and that is true. I, mean, I think it's 50%, over 50, 51%, I think it was, compared to 18% for all of the transportation. You know, it's, it's a hugely amount different. Growing four, growing four pounds of potatoes um, gives you 120,000, no, 1,200 calories, generates 14 times fewer greenhouse gases than producing one pound of beef, which gives you 1,200 calories. So 14 times fewer greenhouse gases from potatoes. Scientists of the world know that meat eating is, the, is a major cause, major factor in climate change. We are setting in motion feedback loops, i.e. ice melting and sun warming sea, the sea. I, melting ice and then warming the sea, and melting ice and warming the sea. We have only 40 years as one tonne of methane acts in the atmosphere over 20 years, whereas carbon dioxide stays around for 100 years. Therefore, methane is four times more potent and destructive. Over 100 years, methane is 25 times more destructive over 20 years it is 72 times more destructive. Men jogging produces the same amount of carbon dioxide as four men in a car. Four men jogging produces the same amount of carbon dioxide as four men in a car. And car vehicles and carbon dioxide coming from your, your vehicles and transportation is just insignificant. 35,000 planes fly over London each day, well that's probably more now. Each year 5 billion journeys are made by plane. 5 billion journeys. I don't know if that is by plane actually, but 5 billion journeys are made by train, by vehicles. It might be by planes. Diet. A starch based diet will prevent more deaths in one year than all the statins, antibiotics and diet pills blood pressure pills over the past 50 years, half a century, half a century. just a starch based diet. A starch based diet will have more savings in fossil fuels than all the solar and wind farms and nuclear plants that can be built in the next three decades you save in one year. So a starch based diet will have more savings in fossil fuels than all the solar solar and wind farms and nuclear plants that can be built in the next three decades uh, that you can save in one year. So in three decades worth of wind farms and nuclear plants you save more you know, you're doing more savings you know, for the, in, in the environment in one year and all of those put together. To make one calorie of starch you need two calories of fossil fuels. To make one calorie of animal you need 80 calories of fossil fuels. Absolutely crazy. So you know fossil fuels aren't the problem, vehicles aren't the problem, it's meat eating. This one goes on about extinction. Now an estimated 8.7 million species, we've only discovered 1.7 million of them. So the destruction of the rainforest is destroying species of animals and plants that we've never even discovered. There could be cures for all sorts of diseases that we have as human beings. There was one per million species extinct per year for 3.8 billion years. 
and we've increased that, human beings have increased that by 5,000%. One per million species extinct per year for 3.8 billion years. In the Amazon alone, one species is made extinct every 15 seconds. 447 acres of Amazon forest is lost every 90 minutes. It's probably increased that by quite a lot with a new Brazilian president. He has no regard for the Amazon rainforest at all. He allows the deforestation of the Amazon. And it's not for wood, it's for grazing of animals. They graze on their land, um, take, they eat what's there, but it's not, not trees. And then the rest is just turned into um, fields for crops. For, for animal agriculture. And there is 137 species lost in, daily through deforestation. 137 species of, of plants and animals. Most of them we haven't discovered yet. Rhino horn is 37,000 pounds per kilogram twice the value of gold and platinum and is now more valuable on the black market than diamonds and cocaine. 23 tonnes of ivory seized last year in 2011. This was this is nearly 10 years ago now. So it's more now. The equivalent to tusks of 2,500 elephants. They are going to be extinct within my lifetime. Elephants, can you believe that? 28,000 elephants killed in 20, 2012. I mean, this is so old now. PCBs and DDTs, flame retardants. Mm. I think that means they've got to be cut out because they're bad. Right, the population. There are 150 cells in a human embryo. There are 150,000 cells in a housefly's eye. And pro-lifers are often pro-wars. So back to that one: 150 cells in a, in a human embryo. I mean, um, yeah, they're all pro-life. They should be. If they're so, you know, so worried about embryos being destroyed, there's a thousand times more cells in a fly's eye alone. Quite amazing. The population of Brazil has gone from 70 million in 1960 to nearly 200 million in 2012. Let me have a quick look of what it is now. In 2019. Uh, okay. It's now 2, 2, 2, 2.9 million in 2017 that was. So that's an extra 9 million on top of the 2012 total. But there are still more cows, 210 million. I don't see how many cows. Finger typing isn't working very well today. How many cows in Brazil? Let me type how many. Now it's 232 million cows in Brazil. So I wrote this all this down in 2012. So it's gone up. By 32 million cows in seven years. So now there's 232 million cows. Sorry, it's gone up, no, 210 million cows in 2012, it's gone up by 22 million cows. So I want to change that. 
1970, there was only two cities with a population of over 10 million. Now there are 21. I'll quite have to type that in as well. How many? cities of over 10 million. Wow. I can't quite believe that myself to be quite honest. In 2018 2018 there was 33 cities with over 10 million and by 20 by 2030 there's going to be 43 cities with over 10 million inhabitants In 1970, only two. 1970, there were two cities with a population of over 10 million. Now there are 33 in 2018. It will rise to 43 in 2030, so just ten years time there's going to be 43 cities in the world with more than 10 million inhabitants that's an incredible rise 27,000 children under five die through poverty related reasons every day eight to ten million a year in 1989 China had just a hundred miles of expressway now it has over 50,000 miles, and that's just, that's once again, this is 10 years ago now. Um, more than the EU, and more than 46,000 in the US. So there's more miles of road expressway in China now. There are now over 1 billion vehicles. Well, there's really more than that now. How many vehicles? The largest South Korean shipbuilder produces 13,000 container, container ships every three days. No, the largest country, a Korean shipbuilder produces a 13,000 container container ship every three days, 100 a year. There are over 20 million containers moving around the world at any one time. River section. Animal river section kills 19,000 animals per minute. 10 billion, that's 10 million million per year. 212 trillion dollars is spent on animal experiments every year. For each chemical used in products, 5,000 animals die and 12,000 die for pesticides. Americans throw away 165 billion dollars worth of food in the trash every year. Every act we do should be thought about as to whether it has the best consequences. No vegans save the planet. McDonald's will kill your kids before Al Qaeda will. Well, that's not Al Qaeda anymore. But any war. McDonald's will kill your kids before any war will. The Bible says be vegan. God and Jesus would have been vegan. Eliminate the middle animal and go straight for the, for the protein from the plant. 34 square kilometres are made desert every 90 minutes. The Pacific Trash, trash Vortex, or Pacific Gaia, um, 
is, is equivalent to one pound of plankton is equals six pounds of rubbish. So there's only one pound of plankton compared to six pounds of rubbish. And I'm estimated 17 billion Earth-like planets in our galaxy. There are about 350 billion galaxies. Yep. And this is probably the only planet in the entire universe that has all this biodiversity on it, but hasn't got it anymore. The Netherlands makes 200, pound, 200 billion pounds on drugs. The UK spends 19 billion on stopping hemp. Well, hemp is a great plant. You use it in clothing, food, um, you use it for medicinal purposes, smoking. No one's ever died from smoking cannabis, loads have died from drinking. Um, Butte, the painkiller, is using horse meat, horse meat burgers. So Butte finds its way into the food chain. This is a little um, quote here. I don't drink human breast milk, so why do you drink my mother's, my mother cow's breast milk? Ban primitive halal and kosher religious slaughter, pain and suffering beyond belief. The use that humans make of science to solve problems generates problems that are not humanly solvable. Science reveals the limit of human power in its function as a modern myth. It is the idea that human power has no limits. Climate sceptics are climate deniers. John Gray said that. The pursuit, of, the pursuit of economic growth should come before all other concerns. David Cameron said that. Tory. Eat, eat like you give a damn. You know, eat. You know, being vegan, there's millions of vegans on the planet now. There's 3.5 million vegans, apparently, according to um, Compare the Market from in 2018. That was up from a vegan society total of 560,000 in 2016. So just in two years, it went up 700%. And if it is true, even if it's a third of that, but if it is true, that 7% of the population are now vegan in the UK. Chief Seattle of the US, of the US Indians. Humankind did not great did not did not I think that's supposed to say create, not grape. Humankind did not create the web of life. We are but one thread within it. Whatever we do to the web, we do to ourselves. We are all bound together. Everything connects. That's from the mouth of a, a American Indian. They just respected the land. They only took what they needed. They probably only ate meat every now and again. You know, we used to live on a diet of human beings evolved as not as hunters and gatherers but as um, gatherers and what was the terminology I used not as hunters and gatherers we, we evolved as plant eaters and the odd bit of you know meat the way we could get it every now and again but even that would have been put away for the winter times when there could be no plant production because of the harsh winters. And they used to go fall back on meat, meat eating. So they used to keep stores of meat. All the other time they used to just eat plants, nuts and berries. Gatherers and gatherers, gatherers and harvesters we used to be, not hunters and gatherers. And we evolved with these teeth for a reason. We, we haven't got carnivore teeth. We haven't got big fang like canines to rip apart flesh. We've got ruminant animal teeth, We've got grinding teeth to grind up nuts and seeds and uh, you know like ruminant animals do. We've got a long intestine like ruminant animals have. We haven't got a, a short intestine like 
like carnivorous animals have. You know, look it up, just look up all these things. Um, yeah, anyway, that's going to be my last. But anyway, try and get around to watching this documentary if you can. It's going to be on iPlayer for a while. I can't get on iPlayer, so I have to sign in, but um, I'll be able to download it one shortly, I would imagine. Hopefully. But, you know, it's like I say, it's gone from nutty, nutty pasty looking vegan sort of 10, 15, 20 years ago walking about, you know, an extreme minority. That's when I was became vegetarian back in 2000. Uh, 19, 1991 I became a, vegan, a vegetarian and then 2011 I went vegan because the sea ship, ship came into London and this little boat full of vegans going out to battle the Japanese whaling um, corporation and the government and I immediately just then I, I had to go vegan and uh, since then it's just got easier and easier to be vegan and um, with the, the developing world now uh, how it's going there's just going to be more and more meat wanting to be eaten and our planet just cannot cannot produce enough meat. It's not cannot it's unsustainable. You know, we're destroying the, the lungs of the earth, the Amazon and the, the plankton and, and the green you know the, the, the green in the in the oceans that's uh, absorbing the carbon dioxide. But it's not the carbon dioxide isn't the problem, it's methane gas. Methane being also being released from the the Siberian wastes and the it's, it's adding to the problem. So, so methane is the problem. Ruminant animals is the problem. Meat eating is the problem. Stop eating meat, and you'll have a chance of saving the planet. But you know, my, I'm very pessimistic to be quite honest. I think it's already well too late. We're already backing into these feed loop, feed feedback loops already. This domino effect, this snowball effect. There's no stopping the destruction of the planet now. All the money that's being spent for trying to find a an alternative planet to live on it should be spent on trying to save the planet but even that is going to be insignificant to what needs to be done but anyway hope you enjoyed listening to this it's not a rant it's just me explaining some stuff that probably a lot of people don't know all this stuff is out there on the internet to find out about read the china study um a, a, a study done in china a long time ago um watch earthlings watch what the health, watch um, Cowspiracy, Cowspiracy and what the health, the speed, uh, Earthlings is quite graphic in nature if you can stand it watch that one The Game Changes is a very, a very good new movie and watch this thing on BBC that was just on last night Meat is it destroying our planet well, it shouldn't be our planet it should be the planet, is it destroying the planet and yes it is um, please Give veganism a go if you only eat meat on, or give you know have a meat-free Monday. Or you know, that's going to be insignificant, really. You, you should go vegan. There's plenty of vegan food about in the main supermarkets now. Please go vegan. Take care. Have a nice day.